Today we're going to look at the magic number of 240. Now, if you're an elementary school teacher or a special education teacher, grades K through 8, or perhaps you're a uh, college professor or uh, an advisor of graduate students, teachers that are preparing to take the math MTELs, you're going to want to know what 240 is. And that's what this, that's what this video will do. We're going to break down what 240 is, what the scores mean, so whether someone gets a 200, what exactly does a 200 mean? Or what does, you know, a 230 or a 239 mean? Because it gets kind of confusing. Now, I work with a lot of teachers on the Math MTELs. And some teachers come to me and they say, I got a 200, Chris. Is that good? Is that bad? And uh, because we're not used to the grading system of, you know, 200, 240, we're used to 1 through 100. And if someone gets a 90, we can say, good job. And if someone gets a, a 60, we know that there's something wrong, we've got to relook at it. So I want you to have that same gauge when you look at the 240 numbers and the MTEL uh, scoring, all right? Now some basics before we start. I just want to talk about what 240, what 240 means in general. 240 out of approximately, approximately 300 points on the MTELs. So if we do a little reducing, you know, we get 24 out of 300, or pardon me, 24 over 30. And if we reduce that again, we divide by 3, we're going to get 8 over 10, which is about 80 over 100. And this is, uh, this 80 over 100, this is what I wanted to get at. 80 over 100 is equal to 80%. So just so you know, a, a 240 on, on the exam is roughly 80%, but there's a lot more to this score. And I really want you, if you're especially, especially if you're a teacher that's taking this exam, or you, you're an advisor, a graduate school advisor, trying to advise teachers that, are, that are take, have taken the math MTELs, so they understand what they need to do in order to succeed on this test. All right? There's lots. You can go to the GoMath uh, website, and you can find out lots of information on the MTEL math workshops in Harvard Square. And they all specialize on helping teachers push their scores up and help them on their essays so that they can, uh, they can literally get those extra couple points that will carry them through the 240. But before we even get there, you need, you need to understand what the 240 means and what that relates to the student. So definitely check out this video. Hi team, now we're going to take a close look, a detailed look at the practice test score calculation worksheet on the general curriculum mathematics subtest. Wow, that's a long title. And it, it's located at the end of your test. And it has this, these two tables, table one and table two. Basically, we have the number of correct on the multiple choice and your score, and the number of points you get on the open response and your score. I want to go over some case studies because I get a lot of teachers, they get all sorts of scores, and I want to break down what they mean. So let's, uh, <clears throat> let's start with this first one right here. Let's say you get 30, 30 points on the multiple choice correct. That means your score on the multiple choice is 280. And let's say you get a 4 on the multiple choice. You nailed the multiple choice. You did unbelievable on the multiple choice. You get 30 points. Well, let's look at what that means. 30 equals 208. And four, an amazing score, unbelievable, you math genius you, equals 30. Well, what happens when I add them up? 238. Even though you nailed the open response, you didn't do so good on the, on the multiple choice. In fact, you're, let me just make this very clear to everyone. If you score le less than 31 points, you're not able to pass this test. That's what this means. Does everyone see that? If you score one-third on this test, that means you get like a 30 or below. There's no way, even if you get the 4, of get, getting the final score 240. That's critical. That means what they're saying is, hey, 30 out of 45, if you're, if you're scoring a two-thirds or 66% on the multiple choice, there's no way to pass. Now, I want to bring that up because this is a wake-up call. This means that you definitely do have to um, increase that multiple choice. 
Okay, you just got to increase it a little bit. Uh, well, uh, you should think about it more, but you need to increase that. All right? Uh, let's look at another grade. Let's look if you push it up, you go from a 30 points on the multiple choice correct, and you get 34. You just bump, bump it by four multiple choice questions. Guess what happens? You get a 231. And let's say you bomb the open response, and you get a 1. Well, just by pushing the multiple choice by four points, you're going from 34 is equal to 231, and a 1 is equal to 12. Well, guess what? 2, I know, 43. You passed. Look at that. Just by going from a 30 to 34, four points, that brings you over the 240. I'm getting excited. Um, I, I want to point out one thing. Any multiple, if you get 34 or above, you're guaranteed to pass. You're going to pass. 34 or above plus the minimum score of, 12, of one point means you're going to pass. <laughs> Below 30 means you don't pass. So this is no. Below 30 on the multiple choice, you're unhappy. Above 30, 34 or above, you're very happy. Guess what, everyone? This is your sweet spot. This is where it all comes down to. All right? You want to try and get as close to 34 as possible. If not 34, it's got to be at least 31, and you've got to score high in the multiple choice. But it all comes down to this. So what are you going to be? Are you going to be a happy camper that scores, you know, at least 31 or above? If you get 34, you pass. Or are you going to be a sad sack? <laughs> we all are sad sacks all the, in one time in our lives. Will you score less than the 30? It means you're automatic, no matter, no matter what you do on the open response, you still uh, don't pass. All right, keep that in mind. One more thing, I just want to look at this score real quick. Let's say you got, let's say you got, I don't know, um, 22. 22 means 185 points. 22 is about, out of 45, these all are about 50%. This means if you get in this range here, you're getting about 50% on the multiple choice. Well, this would tally with a 1 as your multiple choice point. This would tally somewhere around here, 197. So if you're getting something like in the 90s or 270, this is another wake-up call in the opposite extreme. It means that you're getting 50% on the multiple choice. And this is a this means you really gotta re, you really gotta get some help. You should sign up for some one to one tutoring through GoMath because you gotta turn this into at least a 31 in order to pass. So that means a lot, huge improvement on the multiple choice. Okay, and you also want to try and boost this open response um, essay question up as well too. Okay, all right, team. I hope you found this helpful. Again, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Check out some more videos from GoMath. Go to one of the MTEL math workshops. Um, we're going to have a whole bunch of new classes next uh, fall of 2013 in math, science, history, and English, and, a, and in ESL. So I hope you check those out as well. Again, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thank you very much, everyone. Again, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. I hope to see everyone at the MTEL math workshop coming up. Or if you need help uh, directly, you can sign up for one-to-one -one tutoring. Thank you. Have a great day. Enjoy the video.